Can't see a receipt. No problem, but you just saw me purchase this. Still need to see a receipt. There you go. Now right, you get to go. Hello. Here's my receipt. Oh, no, it's fine. Are you sure? But... Yeah, it's no problem. You have a nice day. Okay. Thanks. So, you were saying... Oh, sorry. Did you see the way that security guard treated that guy as opposed to the way he treated us? Uh, no. What happened? Well, he asked to see that guy's receipt, and he didn't ask to see ours. I just feel bad that some people have to go through a hard time just based on the color of their skin. I don't know about that. Everyone goes through a hard time in one way or another. God knows I've been through my fair share of struggles. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying everyone's life isn't hard. I'm just saying my skin tone isn't one of the reasons my life is harder. I've seen it firsthand. You have? Mm-hmm. You see those two kids over there? Those are both my boys. Gregory's my biological son, and Anthony is my husband's from his first marriage. And even though those boys have grown up in the same house, they've had completely different life experiences. You see, when my son Greg walks through our neighborhood, nobody minds and all of the neighbors say hello to him. But when my son Anthony walks through our neighborhood, people cross the street when they see him, clutching their purses as if he was a threat. And when my son Greg goes into a store, he's able to shop freely without having to worry about anyone thinking that he's suspicious. But when my son Anthony goes into a store, he gets looked at as if he's going to steal something and gets treated like a criminal. So you see, as the mom of boys with two different skin tones, I've seen firsthand that people do really get treated differently based on the color of their skin. Wow, um, to be honest, that's something I've never experienced before. Maybe if I saw it with my own eyes, I'd understand it better. Mom, help! Oh my God, Anthony! Officer, what's going on? Ma'am, do you know this boy? Yes, he's my son. Your son? We got a complaint. Someone had stole money from a store nearby, so I have to search him. He didn't steal anything. He's been here the entire time. I have to search him anyway. You got any drugs on you? Or money, huh? No, I don't. He doesn't have anything. Leave him alone. Connors, you got the guy. Come on, let's go. Uh, I didn't do anything. Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Have a nice day. Anthony, baby, are you okay? I'm fine, whatever. I was so scared. I tried to tell the cop that Anthony didn't steal anything, but he didn't listen. I can't believe what I just saw. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It sucks, but I'm used to it. I'm so sorry. No one should ever have to be used to that. It's so sad that people really do treat you differently just because of the color of your skin. Hey, give that back! Leave me alone! Get off me! Police, put your hands up! Officer, thank goodness that you're here. This man here- I said, put your hands up. Okay. Look, my name is Jordan Harris. I'm a state senator. And this man, he stole money. Shut up! Now turn around and put your hands behind your head. Not the wrong 
on God. Call Lieutenant Gray. He's a friend. Ask him. I said shut up. Okay, now tell me what really happened. This man is lying. He ran up to me and took my money, and it's right there in his left pocket. No, that's not what happened. This man stole money from a grocery store owner. Oh, you're hurting me. I tried to be nice. This is just a big misunderstanding. Uh-huh. And what do we have here? See? I told you. That's my money. It's not his. Save it for the judge. I'm putting you behind bars. I believe this belongs to you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Thank you so much, officer. Officer! Wait! Let him go! You've got the wrong guy. This is the man that you should arrest. What are you talking about? He's a hero. You see, he was in my shop earlier. Hey, Mr. Harris. Hey. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Just a gum today? Yes, sir. Hey, Gary. How's business been? <sighs> Not too good. Money's tight, but I'm getting by. Sorry to hear that. Here's $20, and I want you to keep the change. I hope it helps. Wow. Thank you so much. No problem. It's always good seeing you, Gary. Tell your kids I say hello. Listen, old man, give me all your cash or else. Okay, please, don't shoot. Everything, I want everything. Hurry up! This is all I have. Please. I have kids at home. I don't care about your kids. Give it here. Thanks, old man. <laughs> what? Banana? Is everything okay? Is no, everything that man okay? just robbed me. Go back inside, call the police. I'll try to catch him. Go, go. So you see, all Mr. Harris was trying to do was to get my money back. He's the real criminal. I even have everything on video. You're not going anywhere. Connors, what the heck are you doing? Then Gray, that man is State Senator Jordan Harris. All right, you take those cuffs off immediately, place them onto him. Yes, sir, right away. Senator, I am so sorry. This is so embarrassing. It's okay, Lieutenant. It's unfortunate that these type of things happen all the time. I'm so sorry, sir. I I didn't know he was a senator. I thought he was a criminal. Now you wait till the commissioner hears about this. I'm so sorry, sir. And, and Senator, I save it. This belongs to you. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. Thank him. He's the real hero. See, Your Honor, it's without question that this defendant did these crimes. No, that's impossible. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. He's lying. You can tell by looking at him. Order. Defendant, do you have any proof of your alibi? Uh, uh no, we don't have any proof, Your Honor. Okay, well, if there's no evidence to corroborate Robert's story, the court finds the defendant, Robert Williams, guilty on all six counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Wait, what, what? No, no, what? No, no, please, please, not my baby boy. He didn't do it. I know he did it. Your Honor, please, you have to believe me. I'm innocent. I put that on my life. 
You know I didn't do this. You know it. Order. Mr. Williams, that's enough. Not another word. We'll reconvene tomorrow for sentencing. Daddy, no, please. Don't go. Everything's gonna be okay, sweetie, I promise. Daddy loves you so much. Hey, boss. What if he's telling the truth? What if we got the wrong guy? Well, you don't think I know what I'm doing? No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just wondering if maybe we shouldn't take another look at the facts. I just want a case. <laughs> Who cares whether he did it or not? All that's important is I'm one step closer to a promotion. And besides, people like him, they're all the same. Just a bunch of criminals. Please, sir, please. It's never too late to do the right thing. I wasn't in Philly when it happened. I was in LA at a Dodgers game. I could see my headlines now. D.A. Graham gives low-life criminal life in prison. Keep up the great work. He's innocent. He's innocent. Can you give us a minute? Yeah. What are you talking about? He wasn't in Philly when it happened. His story checks out. Look, I have his credit card statements right here. He was making purchases in Los Angeles while the crime was happening. OK. So? Well, so if he was in Los Angeles when the crime was happening in Philadelphia, then it couldn't have been him. We have to get these to the defense right away. Have you lost your mind? I mean, uh, maybe somebody stole his card. Maybe he gave it to him. I can think of a thousand reasons. But, sir... That's enough. The case is over. You hear me? Now what I would suggest that you do. Walk the line so you can get ahead. I have proof. What is it now? I contacted a local convenience store and I found a photo of him. He bought a hot dog just before the game. It's not possible. Take a look. He couldn't have committed a crime in Philly if he was buying a hot dog in LA. Doesn't even look like him. It's him. I had facial recognition confirm it. Has anyone else seen this? No, why? Good. Let's keep it that way. I don't want you humiliating us or risking this case because you got some pictures that don't even look like that guy. But sir. Quiet! You want to lose your job? I don't want to hear one more word about this case. You're not going to believe this. I have video evidence. What are you talking about? Well, a reporter was giving an interview outside of the game. Okay, so? So guess who walks by? There. That's Robert. He just walked through the background of the video. I, I, I can't believe this. this. This proves his innocence. We have to tell the judge. All arise. Have a seat. We have to tell the judge. We don't have to tell a soul. Is everything okay, Mr. Graham? Anything you want to share? No, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Williams, these charges against you are not minor crimes. Federal statute requires a 25-year mandatory minimum sentence. No, please, Your Honor. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. You've already been found guilty. So unless the people have anything else. 
This court hereby sentences a defendant, Robert Williams, to 25 years in a federal prison without no, no, the possibility no. oh, of God, parole. No. Oh, Wait! Excuse me? Wait, I, I'm sorry, Your, 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 your Honor. He, he didn't do it. May I approach the bench? You may. Your Honor, there is no way that Mr. Williams committed those crimes. You see, I have here a credit card statement showing purchases made by the defendant with his credit card in Los Angeles on the same day that the crime took place in Philadelphia. And I also have a photo of the defendant in a convenience store here in Los Angeles buying a hot dog just mere moments before the crime took place. And I have a video as well, Your Honor, that shows the defendant at Dodger Stadium at the exact time and date that the crime was taking place in Philadelphia, over 2,000 miles away. So you see, Your Honor, Robert Williams could not have committed those crimes. He was telling the truth all along. Is, uh, is all this true, Mr. Grant? Uh, well, uh, Why didn't you say anything? Because he was more interested in his promotion than he was in saving an innocent man from jail. I presented him with all of this evidence, Your Honor. And yet, he ignored it. Well, what'd you expect? Huh? Okay, so maybe he didn't do this crime. But I'm sure he's done dozens of others. Look at him, he's clearly a criminal. Your Honor, order. I've heard all I've needed to hear. Mr. Williams, the charges against you have been dropped. You're free to go. <laughs> Bailiff, uncuff him immediately. <laughs> and you, Mr. Graham, oh, obstructing justice and tampering with evidence is a very serious crime. Your Honor. I'm going to see to it that not only do you never practice law again, but that we send the right man to jail this time. You, Bailiff, arrest him. No. No, oh, this can't be happening. This case is dismissed. Let me go. Go. I love you so much. Love you too, sweetheart. I told you everything was gonna be okay. Serves. Oh. Why did you help us? Well, because a wise woman once told me it's never too late to do the right thing. Let me see your papers. Uh, what? what? I don't have them on me right now. It was this guy. That was more like you never had him on you. I'm taking no, no. you into the station. No, no, wait, 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 you don't understand. There was this woman. You know, it just helped. I just helped save your life. Spare me the lies. No. All of you criminals are the same. No, please. Save me. Please. Her. Abuelita, I don't understand. Why are they taking those men? Those men are illegal here, Isabella. But those men look like daddy. Is daddy illegal too? Well. Mama. Por favor, cuida a la niña mientras salgo, eh? Honey, daddy's gotta go look for work, okay? Hmm? Papa, please don't go. Ah. I'll still take you away. Take me? Who's gonna take me? Mamá, te digo que por favor no veas estas cosas enfrente de la niña. Entiende, por favor, mamá. Carlito. ¿Sabes lo peligroso que están las cosas allá afuera? 
Mejor no te vayas. I have to, mamá. How else are we going to eat? Mamá, I'm a good man. Nothing's going to happen to me. Hmm? Papá. Que mi niña. Promise me you'll come back to read me my bedtime story. I promise. You see me sooner than you think, okay? Wait. <laughs> Your lucky jacket. <laughs> Listen to Grandma, okay? You do as she says. Mama, my wife. Ciao. No, 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 please, let me go. What do you want from me, honey? I don't want your money. I want something else. <laughs> hey, the lady said to let her go. Get out of here. But why are you helping me? Because I have a daughter. And I'm just doing what any father would do. Now go, get out of here. We don't want any problems. Oh. Well, then you got a problem. No. <laughs> all the commotion here. Oh, well, thank God you're here. There's this guy, there's this woman that I was helping right now. And who are you? Let me see your papers. What? what? I don't have them on me right now. There was this guy. That was More like you never had him on you. I'm taking no, no. you into the station. No, no. Wait, wait, you don't understand. There was this woman. You know, I just helped. I just helped save her life. Spare me the lies. <laughs> okay, I know you're tight. No. All of you criminals are the same. You would never help anyone. No, no, please. Say please. Please! Get in there! No, please. Look, you're gonna wait here until they deport you back to where you came from. I, I, I need to make this phone call. I promised my daughter I was gonna come home tonight. Give me that. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You can speak to your daughter. As soon as you go back to Mexico. No. With all the other criminals. No, please, you don't understand. I, I, I'm a good man. I was saving this girl's life. She needed my help. Please, I just want to see my daughter. I made a promise to her. I'm sure you're her father too. Please. Lies. No, no. All lies. No, no, no. I bet you don't even have a daughter. No. And I know you didn't save anyone. No, no, no. You're gonna wait here. The bus will be here any minute to deport you back to Mexico. Wherever you came from. No, 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 no. Comprende? Please. Please. Isabella. Honey? What are you doing here? Are you okay? Dad, you won't believe what just happened. Baby, tell me, what happened? There was this thug in the alleyway, and he grabbed me. I thought I was gonna die. Who did this to you? Did he hurt you? No, I'm fine. You see, there was this man who came out of nowhere and he saved my life. When I asked him why he would help me, he told me he also had a daughter and he just did what any father would do. He was such a good man, a real hero. I'm so sorry I wasn't there. Who was this hero? I don't know. He didn't. Wait, that's him. That's the man who saved my life. There must be some misunderstanding. That man is a criminal. No, I'm telling you, that's the man. That's him. He said he had a daughter. This man, daughter, saved your life? The bus will be here any minute to deport you back to Mexico.
Sean. I still can't believe this is your house. I do pretty well for myself. Never seen a backyard so beautiful before. Used to see the water bill. Plus, I have to hire a bunch of landscapers to keep up with this place. <laughs> wow. Aw, and they even pick your lemons for you. Are you serious? Hey, Paco, you guys stealing my lemons? My name is Juan. Whatever. You guys cannot be taking these. And look at this. Your shirt is full of my lemons. You filled up all your pockets. OK. And what is the problem? What's the problem? You really don't think there's anything wrong with what you're doing? I swear, this is why I never have any lemons. I just thought they were picking them for you. No. And he even got a plastic bag full of them, too. Give me those. Hey. What are you doing? If you got a problem, you talk to the owner. He is the owner. Come on. What are you talking about? Babe, forget these guys. I just called their boss and get them both fired. Come on, let's go see the inside. I am the boss. Uh, well, then you should know not to take the owner's lemons without asking first. He is not the owner. OK, why do they keep saying that? Babe, I don't have to explain myself to this guy. He can barely speak English. Babe, come on, let's go. You do own this house, though, right? Is that seriously even a question? Why would you ask me that? Hey, Martin. Hey, Juan. How are you guys? Hey, how are you, senor? How are the girls? Ah, oh, growing too fast. You guys take care. Uh, hey, jefe. It's OK if we still take the lemons? Of course. Take as many as you want. Share them with the whole family. OK, bye. Gracias. He is the owner. So you lied to me? OK, so I don't own a house. I rent it. But I'll probably buy this house in the next few Oh, hey, Deshaun, can you have your dad call me? His lease is up for renewal. Of course. I'll let him know now. Thank you so much. You mean your dad rents this house? I can explain. Save it. I've already lied enough. <sighs> Babe, wait. You don't want to see the inside? <laughs> 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 because I've got the looks and the personality. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm nice so job, sorry. pepperoni face. Pepperoni face. Anyone can get it. Even you. Maybe you should go wash your face again. Why? Because you've got pizza all over 